chicken. Go ahead, Lonnie. Go in. Hey. Hey, Lonnie. Get your ass away from there. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Mike here from Mike's Horror Corner. So today, I'm going to be showing you my new mask that I just got yesterday. This is a Nag 75K Castle that I actually got a couple of months ago, but I wasn't too happy with the paint job, so I sent it off to Freddy Loper uh, to rehaul it, and I think he did a really good job. As you can see, I made a bus room just to add a little bit to the display, uh, but the coveralls are red cap coveralls, size 36, uh, navy blue. Underneath is a black t-shirt, just a basic black t-shirt, and the head form is just a male mannequin bust that you could find on something like eBay or Amazon for relatively cheap, so definitely look there first if you're trying to uh, put something like this together. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this, and uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I met him 15 years ago. I, I was told there was nothing left, no reason no uh, conscience, no understanding, and even the most rudimentary sense of life or death, of, of good or evil, right or wrong. I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. I spent eight years trying to reach him, and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. What do we do? He's been here once tonight. I think he'll come back. I'm going to wait for him. I still think I should notify the radio and tell television. No. Never... If you do that, they'll see him on every street corner. They'll look for him in every house. Just tell your men to keep their mouths shut and their eyes open. I'll check back in an hour. What's the boogeyman? As a matter of fact, it was. <laughs>